nous directement en route de l'eau et côté après monsieur ça il sorti dans de l'eau dans monde ça qui vraiment à pic vraiment difficile ça veut dire que pour grand monde c'est vraiment fragile pour eux est-ce qu'on a dit nous qui plus gros difficulté joindre à faire chercher de l'eau ici les sommes dans sous là sont grande difficulté pour nous parce que le danger en pile difficile pour nous prendre de l'eau parce que de l'eau pas fort et puis de l'eau il est tellement danger il y a monde qui est en roule là qui mourir déjà I reach a point uh, during my a time at the bank where I'm thinking that I should take some time off, start a project that uh, that will empower the communities to initiate projects. That way, the projects that they actually take on will complement the World Bank, the USAID, or even the government. <laughs> Non moi c'est Ezekiel Antoine. Moi c'est assistant coordonnateur de terrain pour chez la Haiti communauté en bas au milieu de toi. For me it was very crucial that the community participates. The solutions are there. The, the problems are identified. The solutions are identified. What they need is for them to meet the right person that could actually help the, them solve that issue. Where do they find that person? Which door to knock on? Community Empowerment Network's mission is to connect people who want to change Haiti to create sustainable projects together. To make that happen, first, we are building an online community needs and resources inventory to shed light on community issues and priorities. We are also creating a crowdfunding platform that will allow locals to directly raise funds for their community-driven projects. We strongly believe that connecting communities with Haitians living abroad, with partners, volunteers, and donors around the world will help create more sustainable projects. To us in Community Empowerment Network, empowerment is key to Haiti being able to solve its problems. After the earthquake, we went in to Haiti with a team of people. This experience of having done this service learning trip into Haiti energized me about joining the Community Empowerment Network. Haiti might not be in the headlines anymore, but communities in Haiti are contending with profoundly difficult issues. And the only way to find out about these issues is to go into those communities and ask. Bon, oui, l'école là, c'est l'école communautaire de Flipo qui travaille tout le monde qui est dans cette situation difficile, les plus vulnérables. Et les plus vulnérables, tout le monde reste avec. Les dix, c'est tout le monde qui sont en province qui est avec moi dans la capitale. L'école là travaille en deux temps par jour. Il travaille avec ma tête avec 175 timoun et à midi il travaille avec 125 timoun. Et pour à pour 2016 pour 2000 arrivé 2016 le travail il y a 4000 timoun qui bénéficient du programme. Et pour être capable de continuer le programme non c'est ça nous à la recherche des organismes qui capable d'aider nous dans nos support pour nous capable continuer le programme. Si les colons ont fait mais est-ce que vous pensez que est-ce qu'il y a l'autre option dans les colons dans notre pays? Je dis à la visite communauté au dans belle ville à Montagne pour nous parler à Grésidan. 
Nous avons un pile de travail pour nous faire dans cette situation. D'après ça, nous réagissons. Il y a une pile de difficultés pour nous faire un service de base. Tant pour que l'on a créé pour nous. Bonjour madame. Bonjour monsieur. Bonjour madame. Bonjour. Qui va prendre le mandat de terre Il va prendre le mandat de terre. Depuis après 12 ans. Combien de monde vous avez fait ça avant Mon cher Luxis. Il y a au moins 14 ans. Combien de petits ou bien Ça va Oui. Ok, ok. Ça veut dire que c'est vous-même seul qui est ça va Oui, c'est la bien, ok, merci. Parce qu'il soit aimé ou fait pour Il a refusé de faire un côté parce qu'il a pris Jean de l'eau tombé dehors, comme ça, il tombe bien. Nous finissons parler avec les gens qui sont dans le pays. Nous parler avec les gens qui sont dans le pays. en pile. Dans le danger ça, plusieurs fois par jour pour aller chercher de l'eau dans ce sens là. Job moi, c'est pour attirer attention nous sur le problème ça. Chaque combien de l'eau prend de l'eau ça, il y a une fois par jour bien des fois. The thing that makes Community Empowerment Network unique is that we're developing an online searchable inventory that highlights the priorities and issues and problems that the community faces. The platform that we're creating, the online searchable inventory that would highlight all these issues that are going on, would make a huge difference in terms of efficiency and in terms of accountability. Anybody can access this searchable inventory. It's not just only the diaspora, but people at the World Bank, or any other group uh, that thinks that it wants to offer its resources. My name is Dr. Russell Cross. I'm a pediatric cardiologist, and I perform volunteer pediatric cardiology screening in Haiti. After we make the diagnosis of these kids, a lot of the issue is not so much that they need medication or, or those sort of things, but they need good nutrition. We have funds available here in the United States that have been donated particularly for this purpose, but the problem is how to work on the ground to make sure that those funds get used in the, in the way that we want to make sure that these kids get nutrition. I think the Community Empowerment Network would be a fantastic tool to be able to connect an organization like us who has resources here in the United States with the community partners there who can provide those services. I found myself in Haiti after the earthquake producing a documentary. Many women were living in tent cities where there was no light and there was an epidemic of sexual violence against the women. And so I had the idea, let's light up a tent city. And so I did a campaign back in the States, buy one and give one, and was able to bring over a thousand light bulbs to give to women that were living in the tent cities. We were bringing them in in our suitcases. That wasn't sustainable. If the Community Empowerment Network platform was in place, I would still be providing solar light bulbs to women and families in Haiti today. There is a reason that I'm going to be able to do voluntary work with the community in the network. Madam, who is going to be able to get the water? Who is going to be able to get the water? It's my mom. C'était fait mal en pile. Pour moi, c'est une tragédie qui n'a pas dû passer. Non, ça n'a pas dû passer. Moi, j'ai accepté de faire volontariat à la communauté et à la network. C'est pour qu'il y ait des résultats de problèmes de loi. Il y a un pile de problèmes dans la section. Haïti a besoin de la communauté et de la network. So we've been doing a lot of things in terms of preparing the, gro the groundwork. And a lot of it uh, uh, is fundamentally in the sweat equity area. People are donating their time and their effort and their money to do this. But in order for this to be sustainable, we need to have as many people as possible contributing to the process. The volunteer in Haiti cannot continue forever to be volunteers. 
we're going to have to pay them a salary, even if it's a minimum salary. We, we, we need you, your help to do this. It's, it's, it takes a village in, in a lot of ways to be able to solve our problems. Um, we can't solve it on our own or by ourselves. If you contribute to this program, we can tell you exactly what your money is going to finance. We are focusing on community organizing to create the inventory of the needs and resources of all the 21 communities in Pitonga. It's going to also finance the creation of the crowdfunding platform that will allow the Haitians living abroad to finance directly the community project that will be uploaded on the website. If you want to make a real impact, sustainable impact, help us to create this platform. By contributing to that, you will make a huge difference in the lives of so many people in the community. Thank you.